You can quickly look up the definition of any word and check spelling of these words. Some listings also include a thesaurus entry and a Wikipedia entry. Hi everyone, Luke here from Apple Online Academy, channel full of tips and tutorials about your Mac. If you want to get the most out of your Apple devices, make sure to subscribe. But no more talking and let's have a look at how to look up words. I'll start with a document. Here you can right click or control click any word you choose. In the context menu select lookup and that opens small window showing you information about the word you are looking at. Down here you can even switch to Wikipedia and find more information about the term you have selected. All is done through your document. You don't need to search anything in the Safari. You can even look up the links to get a preview of that linked page. So this way you don't need to open the link to see how the website looks like. You just look it up. And you can even scroll through the web page. And if you click the button up here, you can open it up in Safari and continue browsing that website. As I said, you can right click any word and select lookup. But I can also do that with the firm press on my touchpad. So just using one finger, I can get access to all of this information. It might not be available for your Mac, but maybe you just have this option turned off. Let's find out. Open up System Preferences, click on Trackpad and on the first tab, which is called Point and Click, is the really first option here called Lookup Data. Make sure to tick this option on, because it's a handy feature. And even more, it doesn't work only in pages. You can look up anything on the websites to get quick preview. It works exactly the same. So select the word and choose lookup to get information about that word. And we are not stopping there. It can also be used in Finder to preview the whole files. So for example, I don't need to open this document to see the content inside. I can just press on my trackpad and see the preview. It's a very simple feature, but it can save you a lot of time. And if you want to save even more time and increase your productivity, subscribe to Apple Online Academy and I will see you in the next video.